Okay, hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another episode, folks. I'm once again in Arc Genesis 2, and <laughs> I remembered I had this. Now, of course, I leveled up and I got to a level where I can actually use the freaking saddle. Um, so I'm actually enjoying this. This Astrodelphus is well cool. Uh, probably better for PvP, but it's still fun to play around with. So. Obviously, when I logged on today, I realized that I had unlocked the saddle a while back. I uh, just forgot to play around with it, which is what I'm doing right now. This thing is really nice. I like the fact that it actually uh, has that targeting reticle and the projectiles actually follow and hit the target, which is pretty cool. They're like missiles. I'm loving this. This is well nice. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. This is this is this is a way to start a video, isn't it? <laughs> this is so much fun. I well, I'm I don't even know how. I, I suppose I was that busy with what I was planning on doing and uh, trying to make things happen uh, to to kind of catch up with where I want to be at. That I actually forgot about this. This is this is fun. This is really fun. This was actually one of the creatures I tamed in the game early on, but because I couldn't use the saddle, it just kind of stayed there. But this is so freaking amazing. And the other thing I just noticed right now is that these pteranodons really spawn in really quick. Like, I was hoping to clear out this area. Look, there's more. Like, this is just ridiculous. How many freaking pteranodons are there up here? Anyways, we're, we're gonna we're gonna put this guy back. We're gonna crack on with our mutations and uh, we'll find some other things to do probably tame uh, I think that's what I want to do I think I want to tame a ferox now I kind of know where the ferox's are um, I didn't level up the astrodelphus because to be fairly honest I'm not quite sure what would be a good stat for these creatures yet um, they don't seem to use stamina when you use the jet propulsion so obviously um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what would be the best stat. We're going to hitch it because it does like to wander about. So we're going to try and do that so it doesn't wander. Okay, so we are going to be setting down some hitching posts. Um, I have realized that I'm starting to get quite a few creatures here. And so what happens, uh, one of the problems with all these creatures is that when you have so many and you accidentally type or press a whistle command on the keyboard which is easily done you'll end up having a pile of creatures in one spot and uh, a lot of work to put them back together so uh, of course the s plus hitching posts come in quite handy uh, this is of course the breeding section so we're always going to have loads of creatures here uh, these are the shadow mains i have uh, already put down the astrodelphus but i also want to hitch the flyers so i know the snow snow owl is within range of the hitching post. I'm just going to move this Argent on the other side so we can hitch this one as well. And off camera, I did debate whether to include it or not. I have made some modifications to the base. I'll show you that in a bit. But the red Argent is from an event. So, of course, as you may know, I do like the color red. So I decided to tame it and keep it for myself. But this is what I've been working at. So as you can see right there, there's a platform that I built and so at the top I'm gonna have the base stat males and females for wyverns and at the bottom I'm going to be working on the mutations okay so I am on with the ferox taming there is a ferox right in that pile right there I'm kind of worried that it's gonna take damage I'm trying to shift stuff away there it is I can see the ferox um, <laughs> This is actually quite hard to find, a, a, a Ferox, and what makes it hard is they look very similar to the Jerboas. They're very, very similar, very small, and uh, this one is a 150, so of course I want to tame it. And I'm not going to tame it here because it is quite dangerous. Um, I think the only way you can tell the difference between a Ferox from a distance and a Jerboa is between uh, by the way they move uh, the Jaboas have a little hop as they move whereas the Ferox's just have like a little uh, strop type of walk which is kind of the only way I can tell them apart here we are back at base I knew this box would come in handy drop the Ferox there now one thing that has me worried is I hope 
it does not get out of here but of course on Genesis 1 uh, we didn't have flyers so taming a Ferox was a bit of a challenge this is a lot easier now because we can bring it to the trap we have the element on us and I'm hoping this will turn out to be a perfect tame uh, the other thing I need to do of course is I want to set up a little bit of a hook at the top here to keep my Bronto safe um, we do have a cryo fridge with Brontos for the purposes of taming the Noglins so let's give it one element it's gonna rage and I'm out of here <laughs> Okay, we're close to the end of it, right here. Oh, there you are. So this should be the last feed for you. I think we will get a perfect tame. And out we go. I always want to make sure that I get the little eating animation. All right, what's going on there? He's turned into a big ferocious beast. There's something down there now. That looks like another ferox. I only put one in, so I don't know what the heck's going on. But uh, I'm not going to go and inspect <laughs> just yet. Uh, not with that big guy down there. That guy's uh, scary. Definitely scary. We don't want to get hit by him. Okay. We'll just wait this one out and see what happens. And uh, uh, once it's tamed, we'll have a look at what the heck's going on. Okay. This should be it. Now that it's tamed, oh, I hope it stays that cute. I hope it stays that cute too, you know. Right, so... Oh! Huh? What the heck's going on here? So... That's a wild ferox. This is the one I tamed. Huh. And now I put one in here, so... Somehow... Somewhere along the line... This guy... Duplicated itself into... Another copy. Uh, or made a copy of him. Duplicated himself. Made a copy of himself. Let's have a look at you. 90% tamed. Huh. I just got chills right now. I'm going to have two Ferroxos. I tamed one, got two of them. That's pretty good. That's, uh, that's a good deal. It's a buy one, get one free. So I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm still gobsmacked. But, yeah. I did not know this thing. Uh, <laughs> I did not know this was a thing. Huh. Well, I'm going to feed you element. I've got element, and so that means we will have two Ferroxos, and uh, you guys can think of a name for them. Um, they are both female, from what I can tell. Come on. You gave me the prompt. Why aren't you giving me the prompt right now? We're going to tame both of them. That's it. I made up my mind. They look cute when they're tiny and ferocious when they're big. You, you can't beat that. That's, that's a win in my book. Um, I'll wait for you to go to being a baby and then when you're ready we will tame you I mean we're taming you right now I mean you know what I mean I'm, we're, we're gonna have you uh, so these guys are these ladies actually are available for naming you guys can think of a name for them um, I want to see some creative names and uh, of course we will name them in a future episode um, I probably haven't well probably I haven't named anything else because I haven't put out any videos uh, at this point to be fairly honest it's just because I decided to have a week off for my birthday so slightly behind schedule but we're gonna get back on schedule without an issue um, after this feed we should now have two Ferroxes which is amazing I I'm pleased I'm, I'm pleased I'm, I'm surprised and pleased at the same time you can't beat this. This is like Christmas, isn't it? This is my birthday Ferox. This is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> I mean, it kind of happened in the week of my birthday. So, yeah, that's why the channel went quiet for a bit. I decided to take some time off for myself. It's been two years since I actually did anything like that. Like, actually do something for myself. Actually just enjoy life. But here we are, two Feroxes. I just wanted to show these guys up close because they look freaking nice. They have the exact same color scheme. I mean, it's literally a clone of each other. They're, they're duplicates. This is pretty cool. Um, you guys named them. And 
when I have a list of names, we will then uh, name them. I guess that's the way it's going to go. But they're cool. I love these creatures. They are amazing. And uh, I don't know how good they are when they are in full form and full shape. But I still like them. They're on par with the Jerboas as far as cuteness goes. Plus they beg. That, that's, that's a win in my books. I like the begging. And the noises they make. They just look too much like a Jerboa when uh, you're looking for them. And they spawn in the same place as Jerboas do. But hey... <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? Okay, folks, here we are. Uh, we are going to use the S plus mutator to get some mutations. Now, I don't know how this works in terms of how effective it is, but these are the base stat parents, and so what I want to get from them would be the... Uh, well, one mutation in HP and one mutation in damage. I don't care about the genders because we can breed them with the base parents at any given time. We have the male and the female, so that should make life easy. Uh, we do have quite a few of these shadow mains. I probably won't keep the base shadow mains, but um, once we get the mutations, we have something to work with. Now, I want to do these first because of the gestation period. And then we'll move on to the wyverns, and we have quite a bit of work ahead. So, first of the shadow mains are out. We'll see what we got. We did get quite a few mutations. There is one that seems to be... I think there was stuff in here. No? Alright, it's clear. I think I got all of them. I, I feel like I've been cheated out of one baby. Uh, maybe I didn't set the latest addition to the breeding patch to to breed so maybe that's what happened there but this is what I have I've killed the other ones off um, I think I killed off one uh, which is what I mean but this is one of the mutations right here and we're gonna keep this one we're gonna rename it we need to know what mutation it is and I need the other mutation so yeah this is what we're working with so it is a male it is a one times mutation and it is in damage so now we need the mutation in health which we haven't got but we'll get at some point in the future we'll just keep breeding this of course i'm going to do this off camera yeah okay so this is not it and i know that one's not it because i checked it earlier but i'll check it again yeah all right i'll see you guys in a bit all right it is wyvern breeding time this is the normal wyvern right here and we're looking for the third mutation in damage. Uh, again, I did use the S plus mutator. And you know what? That makes life so much easier with regards to getting the mutations. Up until now, the wyvern mutations I obtained by just breeding the wyverns over and over and over again until I got a mutation and prayed that it was the right mutation. So, I think going forward, to keep things easier, I am going to be using the S plus mutator like nothing else. That's going to be my best friend, so I might have to reposition him. Uh, but, as you can see, we also have two shadow mains ready to go. Now, of course, this one over here is no longer useful to us. So, I'm not going to get rid of it, because it is one of the... Uh, mutation. So I'm going to keep it for a record, if that makes sense. I'm going to cryopod it, and I have set up some cryo fridges that I'm going to be using to kind of store uh, the steps of the mutations, if that makes sense. So they're right here in this corner. Two of them look like they're turned off, but they're not. It's really weird. It's some weird bug. I don't know what's going on there. But we're just going to dump all mutations that we get in here until we get to the final mutations and finally we have the base parent for what will be our breeding line for the blood crystal wyverns i'm looking forward to breeding these puppies because they look pretty sick um, i'm hoping to get some nice colors as well but i'm mostly going to breed them for the purposes of damage and hp 
Um, I can't wait. I'm, I'm so excited about this. This is going to be so cool. This is something I started a while back and never got around to finishing it, but I hope I get a chance to finish it. Because, for example, I'm really proud of my Rexes, so I think these guys have become my pride and joy. But yeah, they came out at level one, uh, 240, so that is a mix of all the best stats from both parents. So we're going to raise these guys off camera, and I think for the time being, I'm probably going to end the episode here. It's just going to be doing stuff around base, tidying things, crafting things. Uh, maybe I might start working on the dedicated storage. I feel like that should be... Uh, something that I focus on but it has been a productive day overall we have now set up our breeding line for the crystal wyverns for the blood crystal wyverns we are now on a third mutations on some of the wyverns so we have here the normal uh, well this is the one of the parents that will become uh, a main breeding uh, creature for the crystal wyvern I nearly lost my words there. We have the first mutations in the shadow mains and on the third mutations, uh, damage mutations on the previous two wyverns. So that would be the uh, void worm and the normal wyvern. So that's good. Definitely making some progress. It's uh, It feels slow, but we're getting there. Yeah. I mean, it's looking a bit empty without the, <laughs> the parents up at the top, but we'll get there. Uh, with that being said, and um, we're going to end the episode here. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to name the creatures that I tamed in this episode and I will add that in a future episode once we have some names for it. And until next time, stay safe folks.